Welcome to the new virtual whiteboard series by The Virtual Strategist. My name is Erica Olson. I'm the CEO of OnStrategy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's whiteboard video is how AI can be a mission multiplier for your organization. AI is the hottest topic in 2024 and was in 2023 and probably will be in 2025. We've got a whiteboard to look at to help you guide your organization and your team through the thinking. Let's jump in. So our whiteboard is structured in three steps. Step one is really just thinking about what does it mean to multiply your mission? Step two is the power of AI can really help improve staff morale. So that's step two. And step three is what's the big long-term vision for you and your organization as it relates to AI? So that's the structure of this whiteboard. And just to kind of talk about it for a second, the intention of this, of course, is to use this with your team. You might want to pre-think about it yourself uh, and pre-kind of plan and what, what you might want to might want to dig into. I do have to say though, this looks pretty simple on purpose because our job over at on strategy is to make order out of chaos. And right now AI feels really chaotic. So this is intended to be simple on purpose, but the questions are powerful. So if nothing else, leverage the questions to help guide your team to build your big why around AI and your vision and how AI can be a mission multiplier. So I'm actually going to start with step three first, because it's a little easier. So where do you want to be with AI in your organization in 12 months time or in 24 months time? So the question, the driving question is right here. What is your hope for organizational deployment of AI in 12 months? And I have some pre-built sticky notes here for you and they're actually color coded appropriately. So, or color coded to match. So the first thing is, you know, how far along are you in experimentation? Is there some experimentation every team is experimenting or every staff member is experimenting? And you're going to want to just drag these sticky notes over into your 12 or 24 month box. So what's happening with experimentation? What's happening with the use of tools? So that's the next thing to just sort of think about in terms of what your organization looks like in 12 months or in 24 months. Some pre-built tools, a broad use of pre-built tools. And then what about some custom AI projects? Are there some projects underway or have you already launched some pilots? That's what these two are. And then arguably most importantly, this, these blue ones right here are have you already realized some gains? And if so, by when, 12 or 24 months? And have you delivered a new value proposition? So if you haven't tuned into the previous video, check it out, but you'll know that our framework around the power of AI, there's two big things. One is realizing efficiency gains and the other is really transforming how you deliver value. So where do you want to be in terms of, of, of those possibilities uh, in 12 months or in 24 months? Now, I'm asking this just so you and your team get aligned on the velocity by which you want to deploy and use AI in your organization. And importantly, what it's going to do for you and where you want to be organizationally with your team. So that just kind of sets the stage for um, by when and, and what that might look like. And it's just a little mini vision, almost a little pre-populated. Okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing is to talk about what might it look like? This is my, I love this question. What might it look like in your organization if you freed up five hours per week for every staff member? Five hours per week. What, what, how much time would be saved? And again, I just picked five hours because it's a nice number and also because it's possible. It is possible. So the way to do that is to do this little chart here by person. You can actually literally list everybody's names off or by team you know, list the teams and the number of hours, or you could just add up the number of employees and just multiply it by the number of hours. So let's just say there's 50 team members on your team. You could just start there really simply. And if you saved five hours per week of every team member, that would be a hundred hours, right? And how many FTE would that be? So a hundred divided by 40 is about two FTE and some change. So on a 50 person team, 
if you were able to free up five hours a week, you would gain about two new FTEs, two new full-time equivalents. So that is really just a thought to put in your minds around what would you do with that extra time talent and treasure. Now, I am certainly not saying that you shift that time and actually go higher to FTEs, but rather to say, wow, if we could really shift time around and get really more efficient using AI, uh, quite frankly, automating tedious work, what would that actually give us from a capacity perspective? And in team of 50, it would give us about two people. Super fun to do that with your team, just to put, paint the picture about what's possible. So then the most important thing about this is to say, all right, if we were actually able to free up that time, what would we do with it? So we don't just want that time to get absorbed back, right? We actually want to intentionally shift that time to doing more things, to using that time to multiply your mission. And to do that, you have to be intentional. That means we have to identify what would those be. This is a really powerful conversation to have with your team. So the way to go about it is to is actually to ask this question before you come into the session with your team, because it's kind of a hard question to answer. I'm not going to lie. But if we could multiply our mission, we would and ask your team to popcorn those ideas. So we would reach out to and serve more customers if we're a social impact organization, more residents, more citizens. If we're a, a business, right, we would maybe uh, think about strengthening our relationships with our current customers, adding more value to our current customers, spending more time developing our staff, reaching out to uh, an entirely new set of customers to have an impact in a place where we're not having an impact today. What would that be? And I should say, and I, I sort of skipped it, but I shouldn't have, put your mission statement right here because at the end of the day, it's all about pumping up the volume of your mission today. Maybe it's expanding it, could be, um, but definitely for sure going deeper. And so you're gonna wanna make sure that you identify, I just said three, but three big impacts that you would have by leveraging AI to free up time from your team to have a bigger impact in your space. So that's the whole idea around this whiteboard. It's really powerful. It's really fun. You might consider as a pro tip, like having this conversation initially and coming back around and refining it as you, you and your team have had more of a chance to think about what are our mission multipliers? What would we do if we could do more with the, it, with the resources that we have? And how might we have a bigger impact on our customers, our team, our community, and broadly the world. So with that, thank you so much for tuning in. We're so excited about this topic. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you get notified. We'll be dropping videos on this topic and more in the weeks and months to come. Tune in, thanks for being here. Happy strategizing.